Hello. If, like me, you're on this transformation journey, you're coming out of the trauma trap, and the healing and recovery is well underway. I just want to assure you, because maybe like me, you're also wondering, uh, am I making progress? Uh, am I ever going to have victory over this stuff? When these trauma hits, in other words, when trauma comes into your life, when overwhelm pressures from any reason, it could be mental, intellectual, a challenge that you just don't feel up for, or it comes up at you out of your past, or <laughs> it could be emotional, could be physical, something physical, an aroma, a word, a sound, an approach, <laughs> any number of things that could be physical or even spiritual. And it will throw us into higher levels of stress if we're already there, or over, for fight or flight, or into survival mode where it is freeze or fawn. Yes, this is all real stuff. And it just happens automatically. Wish they had named that part of the nervous system automatic instead of autonomic, but there you go. Now, I really want to encourage you because it is possible to turn aside these trauma hits. It is possible. I know because I did it this morning. And it's something I know that I've lived through these things numerous times, countless times. And still the question comes up, oh my word, when it starts at me, I don't know, can I, do I, will I? It happened today in a way that I want to share with you. So I was in a, oh, an already uncomfortable situation and some things started to be discussed that are not my, let's just say, they're not my favorite thing. And it caused my mind to go into some areas related with very high level coercive control. Let's call it, let's call it what it is. Okay. And so I... I could feel it coming over me. Now, now look, I'm going to share with you what that means for me, but it can be different for you. So for me, it starts to feel like, oh man, I guess I stayed up too late last night. My brain is just getting dull as if I'm in, I'm in a fog or a lethargy is another big word for that. I had somebody contact me that this happened with a text a text came in that was so upsetting that she got a stomach ache. She broke out in a sweat. Uh, uh, it chills. She broke out in chills, but her hands were sweaty and her breathing was tight. Yes, that's what it, she recognized for herself. She said, what do I do? What do I do? So I gave her several suggestions, but I'm just going to tell you what worked for me today because I can be very specific with that. When I real when I sensed what was happening, and I said, oh yeah, you know, I talked to myself. I <laughs> said, all right, you know, I was up late last night, but I have been up a lot later than that. This is still morning time, so it is not because I'm tired. That's not what's going on. This is trauma. There's something that's going on around me right now that's pressing the trauma button. Okay, well... I don't need to worry about that. What could it be? Is it something I knew it was likely something from my past? I, I knew that much. And I just said, okay, but I'm not living in the past. I can sort this out later, but right now I'm safe. I can get up and leave the room if I need to. I know that I can uh, support any opinions I give, any questions that I ask. I know they won't be foolish on and on, and so uh, calmed down. That happened to me three times. There were, it was the fringes, the leading edge of what could have been really an overwhelming experience. So I diverted the overwhelm. I diverted the overwhelm. And I'm, I'm really pleased about that. Um, the person who approached me about all of the physical things that were going on for her, see, mine was 
mostly emotional and I was able to <laughs> uh, I was able to minimize that impact that trauma with my mind to remind myself where I am who I am what's going on around me I'm not at risk in this place in this situation I am not at risk and talk my body down inside but her symptoms were multiple and it was clearly an emotional probably psychological mental and spiritual too those are probably all in there but she was feeling a lot of the physical kinds of things uh, and so I made various suggestions relative to the somatics that I know that she knows so you might anyway havening uh, breathing holding ourselves touching like it could be really really scary and you're breathing it is all fear based but if your breathing is too shallow and so on it can be helpful just to rest your hand on your solar plexus here in the middle of your chest maybe I put like to put the heel against that and feel the pressure and it helps my body calm it helps my body calm so I made several suggestions like that for her I'm not sure they reached her in time because this was through email and then there was a delay but there you have it it is if you're wondering if you too hi nice to see somebody here if if you too are on this trauma recovery trauma healing transformation journey it is possible to divert the overwhelm when it wants to come in the trauma I, I call it the trauma hit but all of that that's coming too much too fast or it can be too little for too long uh, a reminder of and I'll share this because it just came into my mind a reminder of the lack of care and attention the neglect from some portion of your life childhood school job other relationships wherever it happened that could be now for me it, that didn't happen this morning but for me if there's a slight hint about abandonment that somebody isn't you know it's actually going to cut off uh, friendship connection whatever with me that will feed the abandonment issues that are going to take a lot longer to work on that is meant as an encouragement to you so there's the tip there's the tip there is hope it is possible and there are a few ideas but go to YouTube and look up uh, my transformation uh, first of all the trauma series that I've done hi Georgia Anna Larson look at the trauma one trauma two trauma three series of videos at YouTube Sandra Allen Lovelace also look at the transformation uh, playlists because those are full of suggestions about this recovery tra trauma healing time there's a mini trauma list and anyway tips yes tips tips for transformation transformation tips was an older version of that anyway there's a, bu a bunch of support if you would need or want more you could find me on well I'll be here on Facebook but besides Facebook and also YouTube you can reach out to me at hi Sandra Allen Lovelace at gmail.com so check in I uh, will if you want we could do a clarity call you could talk about where you are and where you want to be that's it for today happy Saturday afternoon bye-bye